Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Daniel chapter 11, please, and verse 32. Daniel 11 and verse 32. I'm speaking for the next five, ten minutes just um, to bless our hearts very briefly before we go on our retreat tonight. The power of knowledge. The Bible says, I'll just quote it for the sake of time. The B part says, but the people that do know their god he says they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the people that do know their god the scripture is projected please look at it very carefully you would notice that there are three major stages that control exploits number one is knowledge the bible says the people that do know so the foundation for biblical exploits is knowledge somebody please shout say knowledge one more time say knowledge it says the people that do know the second stage is that they shall be transformation everyone say transformation and then they shall do the people that do know they shall be and then they shall do this has been the irrefutable pathway to a life of exploits, whether in the secular or in the kingdom. It always starts with knowledge. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet began to lament and here's what he said, speaking by the Spirit. He says, my people are destroyed. Chapter 4 and verse 6, Hosea. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He says, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou be no priest unto me. My people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. Because of the lack of knowledge. Now, it's very interesting, and I think I must lay this very powerful foundation, that the kingdom of God is built, exploits in this kingdom is built on light illumination revelation this is a kingdom that is knowledge driven in as much as we have infinite possibilities in christ but our ability to walk in the truth of those things that have been finished in christ will depend on the extent of our knowledge ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 the Bible, Paul speaking in Ephesus, here's what he had to say. He says, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. So when your understanding is darkened, the Bible says you can be alienated from the life of God. In as much as the life of God is a life of victory, the life of God is a life of advancement, the life of God is an all-surpassing life. Just knowing that Jesus died to give you victory, just knowing that Jesus died to uh, see to it that you become the head, does not automatically mean that you will be the head in truth. It takes knowledge, knowledge. 
the last scripture and then we'll pray for tonight very interesting scripture pay attention to it john chapter 8 and verse 32 jesus is teaching now and he made a very instructive statement john chapter 8 and verse 32 if we have it projected i'd like us to read together if you can see it i hope you can see it if you can see it let's read together one to read and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free one more time please and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free or make you free now please look up this is very powerful because the bible here reveals to us that knowledge on its own does not bring liberty except the information that the knowledge is based on is accurate the key word here is not knowledge the key word here is truth you shall know the truth that means you can know a lie just because you have knowledge does not mean you have liberty it must be knowledge of the truth the information that your knowledge is based on matters there are many people who are passionate about knowledge but it may be that what you know may not be the truth the Bible says if you would like ever experience liberty freedom exploits it's not enough to have knowledge you must know the truth please someone say the truth scripture says there is a way that cement right unto a man it says but the end thereof are the ways of death can I announce to you respectfully speaking the truth is not what you want to hear the truth is not an opinion you are used to the truth is reality from God's standpoint the Bible says let God be true and every man a liar I must know the truth to be free I must know the truth to walk in liberty there is the truth concerning kingdom wealth and prosperity there is the truth concerning divine health and longevity there is the truth concerning exploits and influence there is the truth concerning character and holiness and excellence there is the truth concerning protection just because you have knowledge does not mean you will be free it is the knowledge of the truth so conferences like this are designed for us to not just have knowledge information but for us to know the truth our prayer all through this conference must be god open me up to the truth if what i have known is not the truth then replace it in my life with the truth it is dangerous to have knowledge knowledge that is not able to produce results and knowledge that puffs up we live in a world that is full of a lot of arrogance everybody claiming i know the way to this i know the way to that but my bible says wisdom is justified by her children the truth that you know must be assessed based on the result that it produces and the consistency of that information to and with the character of christ our prayer very quickly tonight before we retreat is a cry and a desperation for truth the holy spirit is called the spirit of truth jesus himself is called the truth here's what he said i am the way i am the truth and I am the life I made up my mind that I will stay with God and I will stay with the Word of God and any information that I have received that is not the truth that the Holy Spirit will help me take it out of my life so that I will have the information that is consistent with God's Word and God's character to produce exploits if you're with me please say amen. amen there is something you may be believing about God that is wrong there is something you may believe about the devil 
that is wrong there is something you may believe about finances that is wrong there may be something you believe about family and excellence that is wrong in a conference like this we must be open-hearted and say Lord I cast my crown I break my pride if there is anything I've held on to that is responsible for defeat if there is anything I've held on to that is responsible for mediocrity take it away from my life so that I will be able to rise and represent the purposes of God ignorance is dangerous but when you have knowledge of a lie it is equally dangerous something write this down please if you're writing and then we'll pray something I do not know may be responsible for the limitation in my life now please I do not mean to insult your pedigree this is a men's meeting I know that there are people here who are captains of industry veterans in different fields and I do not intend by any means to insult your pedigree I apologize sincerely if it suggests that I'm doing so it is an attempt to challenge us to the end that we can bear fruit and fruits that abide hallelujah so please write this something I do not know may be responsible for the limitations in my life it's an uncomfortable truth but it's a powerful truth something I do not know may be responsible for the limitation in my life always financially spiritually intellectually in terms of influence in terms of advancement something I do not know may be responsible for the limitations in my life number two the second thing I want you to write tonight is something I may have known but not believed is equally responsible for the limitations in my life something I may have known but not believed may equally be responsible for the limitations in my life we've written two things now number one that something i do not know behind my frustrations behind my limitations behind my agitations behind a christian experience that is not fruitful and not glorifying to jesus may be ignorance may not be that i'm a bad person but it may just be that I do not have sufficient knowledge to bring victory to my life. Something I do not know may be responsible for the limitations in my life. And then the second thing I requested that you write is something I may have known but have not believed may equally be responsible for the limitations in my life. The third thing I want you to write and then we wrap up with prayer tonight is something I may have known and believed but have not practiced consistently may be responsible for the limitations in my life. Something I may have known, I may have believed but have not practiced consistently. The key word is consistently may also be responsible for the limitations in my life something i do not know may be responsible for lack of finances even though i'm a sincere believer something i may not know may be the reason why i seem to be limited always limited in career limited in influence limited in leadership limited spiritually limited in character limited in impact something i do not know number two something i know i have heard a man of god has preached it i have seen it in scripture but i have not believed to believe means to be convicted to know it is true and to hold it as true i may have known it but have not believed it it is equally responsible for limitations and then number three something i may have known i may also have believed but I have not practiced it consistently. The Bible says, now that ye know these things, if ye know these things, it says, happy are you if you do them. 
it is not only the hearers of the word that profit but the doers faith is not just hearing what god has said faith is not just what saying what god has said it is doing what god has said joshua 1 verse 8 the book that reveals the secret to success says let this this book of the lord shall not depart from out of thy mouth it says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do observe to do observe to do not just observe to say observe to do then and only then thou shalt make your way prosperous and thou shalt have good success so all through this conference by the privilege of god's grace myself alongside every other speaker that will be coming here i believe that together as a coordinated force the lord is going to be granting grace number one to expose us to truth number two to strengthen our convictions over the truths that we know and then number three to supply grace by the spirit to take consistent action in the direction of victory if you're in agreement with me say amen, amen. all right please rise up on your feet one prayer point father grant me the humility to admit the things i do not know or the things that are incorrect and inaccurate and imbalanced information in my life no matter how long i have held them i obtain grace in this conference to be disloyal to anything that is not consistent with the truth of god's word the bible says be careful lest what you call light be darkness there is a way that seemeth right unto a man the bible says but the end thereof are the ways of death you are going to pray asking the lord to expose you to truth expose me oh god to the areas of ignorance in my life let me not be like naaman who was the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man but when it had to do with the issue of health he remained leprous because there was something he did not know thank you god for the results you have given me but i bring before you the areas in my life that are yet to command supernatural results in this conference expose me what may be the limitation what level of ignorance do i need to conquer what level of truth do i need to access tonight i humble myself all through this conference the bible says to receive with meekness the engrafted word it takes meekness and admittance that i can see more i can rise more in this kingdom we rise by revelation someone is praying and then pray that god will strengthen your convictions it is not enough to know it is not enough to hear we must be humble and allow the truths we know to become rooted in us it says i know who i have believed and i am persuaded 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 on bendedness that this is the word of god this is the truth as far as the integrity of the word is no bending to the left nor the right then number three we are praying at the same time that god will supply grace we need an empowerment of the holy spirit to make progress and to advance we need an empowerment to do exploits to do exploits we must be empowered first with the spirit of faith and then the anointing of the holy spirit are you still praying we cry to you oh god the bible declares everyone that asketh receiveth everyone not men of god not young not old every man that asketh receiveth to him that seeketh he will find and everyone that knocketh the door shall be open lord we ask tonight in prayer we seek through passion and we knock with desperation open up the doors of knowledge knowledge of the truth knowledge of the truth the truth concerning spiritual exploits the truth concerning financial dominion the truth concerning leadership and influence hallelujah praise the name of the lord by the privilege of the grace of god i speak and i declare over your life that for many of you beginning from tonight while you are sleeping may the spirit of the lord come and begin to open to you the mysteries of your destiny in the name of jesus christ 
the bible says the secrets of the lord is with them that fear him and he will reveal to them his covenant i pray for you every area of ignorance in your life every area that has kept you limited has made men to laugh at you and mock at your god and say where is the god that you sing about i declare tonight may the eyes of your understanding be open and i pray that all through this conference let the spirit of unbelief the spirit of doubt and fear fear about the word of god fear about the future fear about the times in the name of jesus let fear depart from your life for god has not given you the spirit of fear the bible says but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind as you rest tonight be blessed in the name of jesus christ you will wake up with revelations you will wake up with confidence you will wake up with power you will wake up with a desperation to learn to receive and to rise may you go from glory to glory to glory in jesus name i pray amen and amen dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye